after going 1 and 2 in the first three games. Ito, sabi nga natin, suddenly, they're almost in the top two slots. And they have, will have added uh, uh, to Team FU to hurdle this afternoon. William Rueba, no go. And Marcelliano, who checked in for the Mamas, who gets the offense, picks it up and puts it back in at the six-minute mark of this first quarter. And this game is as good as out of the in the first four oh, Definitely, I see that shot by Marcelliano got hard easy jumping on the sidelines. As coach for Torres as the last group, starting out with different starting units every time they go face different teams here. Now look at Arwin and Chapin go up for oh, that rebound. All pumped up to face each other this afternoon. Leaping out of the building, so to speak. 5.38 to play. FBU with a four-point lead. Jonas Villanueva against L.A. Tenorio. The handoff to Chan all day to shoot, and he brings that one out. Doug Kramer, who is the best rebounder for the Blue Eagles, pulls that one. Kramer averaging close to nine rebounds a game. J.C. is all able to get it up and in to cut the lead. Down to two. An eight to six count at the 5.18 mark. Both teams escaping with a win against NU and against USD. And now are aching to get the Ananeta Coliseum. We are sold out on a Sunday. Much awaited rematch between these two teams. And I have to correct myself when I say that well, both teams trying to get back at each other. It's actually at the nail trying to get back at FBU for that loss in the first meeting. But more than that, Boom, they are actually oh, yeah. looking for that uh, top two slot. No? Nagahabul sila rito sa UE who won yesterday, shutting the door sa hopes ng UB Maroos of uh, making it to the final four. Pero tignan natin if FEU will try to repeat and prove its mastery over the Ateneo Blue Eagles. And, and you know what I noticed on our crowd today as we see this play unfold? There are so many people in green. I huh? see Coach Franz go out and his coaching staff. <laughs> Joseph, you are here. The gang green people are all here. I, very interested spectators, Ronnie, wanting to find out what's going to happen after this game. And, and uh, they will be facing that in the exactly. Eagles come Thursday. Exactly. So, sabi nga natin, strange things have happened in the last two weeks, and more stranger things will happen in the next coming week. Hopefully not to us, though. <laughs> Jeffrey Chan pulls up and gets it to go. And the guys in green, I see, are... Right, right, right behind the yeah, Ateneo bench. bench. Of course, Jeffrey Chan going back to this young guy. Top performer in back-to-back wins -back by the FU Cameras. Certainly coming out strong here in the second round for Coach Bertrand. Vital. Pulling back for the jumper. He has missed his jump shot. And JC and Tal should take it more to the basket because that is really his strength. More than that, the Tung team of Ateneo, they have to have a good shot selection to deny FEU more transition baskets which have hurt the other teams. Another seal and a great fake by Francis Corsiliano. He knows he won't be able to unjump, jump it, out jump, jump it. So he pump fakes and gets the foul as we segue to Yvette Gavieras for the support for the Tamarans. All right, going against the Ateneo Blue Eagles is not at all easy. Back, this team is aiming to reach the final four too. and for sure they will be giving out their very best effort to win this game also the second to the last of the time around can be considered as a preparation for the upcoming finals round according to coach Britt Flores he wants his boys to be conditioned and prepared as early as now so that it will be easier for the Tamarouse to adjust in any kind of unpredictabilities that may happen in the coming game. Meanwhile, one of the Tamarouse, Edgar Saldugo, won't be able to play today due to a sprain he suffered on his left ankle during the game last Thursday against USD. Thank you, Yvette. So, no Edgar Saldugo, no Majid El Rosario, but definitely there is a yes. coach Franz from Arendt and uh, coach Jackson Tiago also there. Very interested in so the also still chasing that uh it's funny <laughs> you look at green amongst blue in that crowd well we also see a lot of green here behind us too. but a dark green Ay, you can easily identify the lasal green and uh makikita mo talaga pag pinan mo yung camera litaw na litaw sila coach pad and coach jack santiago it is a 11 to 6 count and ateneo has struggled offensively and speaking of struggles in fact is one out of five but also has a who has played well in his last three games. Gaining a little confidence from Coach Norman Black. Up, jump at Aguilar. Trying to put it back, draws the foul. Your Ateneo have got to keep trying. Well, when you mentioned about Maki Escalona improving his game, leaps and bounds, you also have to mention that Japet Aguilar has really stepped up a notch in his offensive ball game. 
head to head look at the numbers the best defensive team in the league against one of the top offensive teams here in the UAAP and look at the numbers certainly you can see why FAU is leading the league with 11 and 1 while Ateneo not far behind with a 9 and 3 Javier Aguilar the 15th barrel of line is struggling also 43.3% die hard at the air fans of moves out as Martin Kimson steps in and he gets the applause from the Ateneo faithfuls here and the blue, they can go, the big go, not the blue eagles here for San Diego. Certainly coach Norman Black adjusting his rotation to this very difficult matchup against the FU Camaraz. Rotating his men well and making sure that they remain fresh for the fourth period. Tenorio gives up the dribble as the FEU defense is there. Membrana able to sneak in but is hacked and fouled underneath and a good slide by Membrana. Uh, Tenorio, the quick yes. man that he is, finds him cutting to the hole. And those things will happen for uh, because of long years of playing together. But that was a great look by L.A. Tenorio, the top assist man here in the league right now. Looking at that backdoor cut by Magnum Membrere, Ateneo should do a lot more in attacking the basket room because right now they are struggling from the perimeter and they are hitting it from the three-point area as well. Kailangan ma-foul trouble dito yung mga malalaking higante dito, yung mga higante ng FU Tamara. 3-12 remaining. And Magnum splits his charity assignments. And the lead though cuts down two. Remember the first meeting that they had to do because Eddie was able to bring a 24 point lead that Ateneo could not get out of but the most that they could do was bring the lead up down to 9 points. There's a little 1-2-2 two, two press going on for, for Ateneo right now, Roddy. I think it surprised FBU and they again turned the ball over so that is the second turnover of FBU. Ateneo also having two turnovers so far in the game. It's actually the third for FEU and the second for Ateneo as we check out our Attic Mobile profile. Attic Mobile prepaid. Now you're in. Under three minutes to play. If there's one thing that De La Salle do expose in the game of the FEU Tamarars is their problem with the press. And Ateneo taking its cue from these two teams certainly wants to make FEU struggle in a half court game. Like I said, Del Baraposo who is coming off an 11 point performance against USD and uh, Sorry, against uh, and National you, University. And you that, also, one guy who stepped up in that oh, USD yes, game. Absolutely, has found his comfort level playing for Coach Norman Black, his former junior player ace, power forward for the Ateneo. Iglet has found a home and for Norman Black. And a lot of expectations of Kent Baraposo because he was the star. Together with Jaime, yes. That's right. And uh, now he's taking up to the expectations. The Ateneo Blue Eagles have tied the ball game at 11 here, Boone. Yeah, make a wish. A state of ones on your board. 2-10 remaining. As FBU has struggled in its last two offensive sequences. We are knotted at 11. The third. Another star in the juniors. Oh, yes. I certainly also found this comfort level here in the latter stages of the elimination round. Struggled in the first round, but after hitting big three-pointers one game after the other, certainly it took Sinjai Reyes has found his spot in the rotation of Coach Norman Black. And that's Coach Norman Black right behind him, Coach Franz Pumarin, but not on the bench, <laughs> just scouting. <laughs> Thursday is the Ateneo LaSalle game here at the Big Dome. Facing each other once again. But also gets the step, does not get the roll though, but the ball will remain with Ateneo. Yeah. In the first round, you will not see Ken Baraposo make that. In the, in the juniors uh, division, he used to... He would do that exclusively. Oh, he used to dominate the junior oh, level. First round, well, has some confidence to do that. It's not that he couldn't, it's just that the confidence was He needed to break out, a breakout game. And he found one. That is why right now, everything that he does is very positive for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. At that time, Dodo. Ah, uh, malakas din yung pass oh. ni L.A. Tenorio. They go to Rezana underneath, who rarely misses in that area. And the lead shifts back to FPU, 13 to 11. Another two minutes to play. Another fine matchup between Jonas Villanueva and uh, L.A. Tenorio. The present star and the future star of the UAA. Oh, but Tenorio running rings around Adolfo in that sequence as they switched. 
Marlon and Novo may not have the same speed to stay with LA. That's correct. Pumas coach Bert Flores putting in a lot of people to defend LA in order to try and wear him out and limit his touches of them. You got a fast break on your screens right now, brought to you by Milo. Drink Milo every day. LA Tenorio, as you mentioned, needing to step up in this ball game. The last two games, he has totally struggled against USP and against NU, and they they were against two lower ranked teams at that. That's correct. That's how many coach Norman that. He was not happy with the way they performed, but he was happy with the win. On the other hand, coach Bert Lauder saying that all they needed was one win to assure themselves of one of the Boy. top two slots, and they got it. They got versus it. An ugly win, but the, they got it. <laughs> the USP crowd in Tigers. A last shot. Miss. Oh, yeah, I love the that. He was very, very lucky to run two games here in the second round. Senator Gordon, of course, uh, disappointed with that uh, free throw miss, LA Tenorio, I assume. But the ball will remain with the Blue Eagles with a fresh shot clock towards it. The better. Going out. Looking for a friend. They find LA and Adolfo all over him. Oh, what a change of direction by LA. But the long hands and arms of Mark Eason breaking up the play. Let's see how L.A. Tenorio will adjust to the different kind of defense that Bert Flores will be throwing at him. Kanina si Flores. Ngayon, ibang tao na naman. And for sure, comes up in the third and the fourth quarters. Another different defensive guy will be taking L.A. L.A. against Adolfo. L.A. looking to chew him up, at least in terms of speed. But across a back to downtown L.A. who steps back in that area. Oh, gets it to go oh, oh. with a foul. Oh, an offensive foul. It will be very interesting to see that one. The replay has been only with a very, very difficult step back from about 25 feet away called for an offensive foul here, nullifying the basket. Well, a tough angle we're working with in that one, but look Ooh. at that swish. And all caught on our Smart Buddy Instant Replay. Smart Buddy, the number one prepaid service in the country. Shot, nullified, lead, still, whatever you. Tenorio will still not be in the scoring board right now. But Ateneo doing a good job. Staying close to the FU Tamaraz, down by only two, 13 to 11. Mesada out to Arwin for the three. That <laughs> is no doubt a shot that they will count. And what a big point shooters. Yes, one of the best three point shooters here in the UAAP. Beating that play so well, knocking down that uh, long three point shot. As uh, they have through a zone defense against them. Uh, and Arwin Sada <laughs> diving for the loose ball. And every time you see your best player diving for the loose ball, at least kampante ka na, dahil lahat ng ibang players mo, pupukpuk talaga po. Too much space for Arwin Santos, who is averaging 29%. One of the best in the league. The Smart Buddy 3, the number one prepaid service in the country. And then only again against the Nolpo with 7 to shoot. 37 on the shot clock. But make that in a game clock. An offensive foul call to Martin Kimson. A moving pick set by Martin. And once again, the FU Tamara is doing a good job defending the top pick and roll, anticipating the strong side by LA Tenorio is going right. 16 to 11 is the score. The turnover is creeping. Four now for Ateneo. Four also for FEU. But the last two, an offensive foul, or two offensive fouls rather, a seal by Adolfo Antenorio, who was looking to charge, but a three second infraction was called. And Marlon Adolfo. Well, every time Makin, S. Escalon, and L.A. Tenorio are inside FEU is trying to look for that mismatch after trying to draw fouls versus the two lead guards of Coach Norman. Wala nang pasensya si Marlon dun eh. Nagkikil siya dun sa matchup and stayed. And that goal is in the goal in the zone too long. LA looking for the last say here in the first quarter. Membrere for the three. Gets it to go. That's very, very important to hit their outside shots. Talking about that in every league of group. Well, you, you said it. You called it. In fact, responding to that last team. Magnum Embrera shooting 24.2% from downtown. Sets that baby home to cut the lead down to 16-14. But Arwin Santos and the rest of the Tamarau still with the upper hand as we go into our second quarter. After
As the player caught in mid-air with nowhere to go. More La Salle players. You have to appreciate your players if you're coach Franz Lomar and really spending time here to watch the opposition. That is a very important game that they will be having. And you have to do your own personal scouting. Own scouting, that's right. Intal, off to the right. JC Intal is struggling in the field and a jump situation. The possession arrow will point to MEU. How important was that shot of Magnum Membrere to end the first quarter game? Well, Ateneo only shot about 31% from the field. They have to force FU to defend the perimeter to go out and close out long because the inside, the interior, is so crowded of the massive front line that the FU Tangaraos have. Now FU is gingerly breaking that press. Oh, like controlado, nine, controlado. A nine-minute mark of our first half. Chan thought about it, puts it on the floor. The fake, the pass, Flores lets it fly. That's short. Maki Escalona tracking it down. They did not see the two players who sped off to the other side. Go back to Magnum. Magnum crossing over. Elbow shot. No, no. And Zion from there tracking it down with a fresh shot not to work with. That's what the thing that the Ateneo Blue Eagles have done. They have dominated the rebounding battle so far. That's why they have stayed close to the FU Tamaraos up to this point. Mackey setting or using the roadblock. Mackey with a twirl. Doesn't get the roll. But it's still, let's see, FU ball now this time. Too many possessions though no given here by the FU Tamaraos to the Ateneo Blue Eagles who haven't really exploited their dominance on the offensive goals as we see here. Dynamite play, a seeing action for Coach Norman Black to add offensive arsenal for the Blue Eagles. He replaces Magnum Membrere at the 8.20 mark and is 17-14, a tight one between MPU and Ateneo. Shocking for position, these two teams. And you mentioned the rebounding department, Ateneo with a four-rebound edge at 13-9. to nine. That's very important, Dial FU has a tendency to dominate the rebounding battle at the time goal. They tracked down that rebound. So another possession saved by FBU. It is now 13 to 10. With under eight minutes to play, Arwen Santos rattled, uh, rattling out a three-point shot previously. And the That's devo nice to the see. devoted FBU fans, or actually devoted UAAP fans. That's what we love about this game. Oh, here. definitely, Boo. Santos, Later is on him. He attempts again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Quick jump step. In your face basket. Coming from Arvin Santos. His second of the ball game. I goal. mean, if you're Zion Later, what else can you do, right? You got, you got <laughs> your hand up. Siguro kailangan pa niyang gawin ito. Talunan niya and really try to challenge and alter the shot of this very talented Arvin Santos. Which is, of course, easier said than done. Uh -huh. It's all one out of six from the field. The left-handed shot. He tries again. Gives on underneath. Easy for the denial. But Kimson works hard underneath. Yes, great tenacity here shown by Kimson. Not giving up on the play as FEU once again taking advantage of by the Blue Eagles underneath. Alelu Flores, baseline jumper. Nothing there. And great boxing out by Zion Mater on Mark Isip. Great scouting job here by the Ateneo Blue Eagles coaching staff. Going to the rebounding department. It's the territory of the, of the FEU Tamaraos. So they're doing a good job this afternoon. A nice cut by Escalona, the teardrop! Wow. What a look there! What I mean, a pass! Escalona. What and an what, angle! And what a fake by Escalona, oh. he went out and then went yes. back in. Back door move coming from back Escalona, really has improved. Leaps and bounds here. Dito sa kanyang uh, pangilang season na ba ito sa UAP kung pangato o pangapan. And the lead is down to two and Mark Isip misses but Rosada was there. Uh, one time that Ateneo is not able to block out. Oh, that's how that happens. But Risada quick to the ball, giving FEU a four-point cushion at this point, 22 to 8. What a game so far by these two teams, by these two schools. Intal, Escalona, 
Reyes is out there, seven to shoot. Reyes gets the step, puts it up, nothing there, and Eric Santos coming away with his fifth rebound of the game. Easy, underneath. Ateneo can afford to give those easy transition baskets to the FU Tamara. Playing the UAB games and enjoying the few foods, DJ Hot Dog. Kids can't tell. FEU taking the ball away from Ateneo. After that timeout, a turnover will surely not make Coach Lerma Black happy here, bro. Nice move by Barcinano. Cannot finish Chapin tapping it over to Maki Escalona. Maki pulling out. The lead is six for FEU. It's not one out of eight from the field. Reyes back to JC. JC back to Maki. They have seven on the shot clock. Intal underneath to Doug Kramer. Great pass by JC Intal. Moving well without the ball. Doug Kramer escaping with the, the point blank shot. Great look there coming from JC Intal as FEU threatening to blow this game wide apart. Ateneo answering, answering back here quick. Arwin gets the step oh. of Doug Kramer, but could not finish. And Escalona with another runner here into their attack zone. 4 40 remaining. Chapin kicks out. The lead is 4 for FEU. Oh, too much. Too sticky. Jonathan Fernandez. That's the mindset of the FEU Tamarals. Make it life so difficult for the ball carriers of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Look at Intal struggling from the field but finding his teammates and a delivery to Doug. One of the candidates for assist of the game delivered by KFC. Asto Malut. Mistaken, I think that's Chris Carrano joining us here at the big dome. Event Gavieras now for the Tamaraos. Kaplan is fighting this game. Keep them moving inside the court. Also, more pressure on the defense is needed to limit the Blue Eagles' attempt to score. Most importantly, the FAU Tamaraos must not forget to communicate among themselves both offensively and defensively. Boom. Thank you very much, Yvette. New reminders coming from Coach Bert Flores and a challenge again by Javier Aguilar and in frustration, Francis Barciliano commits the foul. Two successive point blank misses here for the FEU Tamaras. They could have had an eight point lead right now, but they give a window of opportunity here for the Ateneo Blue Eagles to come closer. They still have a four point lead here though, but certainly Lung Tempo has swung to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Barciliano, who is a tough cookie, has not yet recovered from that bump a while ago. Boy, he was shaken. And to have uh, Barcelona be shaken, he said, but it's not a good thing. Yep. A sea of blue on your screens. They are behind by four. Coming up the four minute mark of the first half. Tenorio is back in the game. Villanueva, who's averaging two steals a ball game, anticipates it very well. And Jeffrey Chan able to manufacture an undergoal staff. <laughs> and he will not make the same mistake twice. Jeffrey Chan, having another back to back good performances, winning top performer awards, making sure that FEU stays on top. Up by six, 26 to 20. Great defense by FEU. LA throws it up. It's a wild three. Ital picks it up and lays it in. Once again, the offensive rebounding might of the Ateneo Blue Eagles coming into play. And this has been the secret of the Blue Eagles in staying close to the FEU Tamara. JC is two out of nine. Chan puts it on the floor against three players. And a traveling infraction <laughs> ball. That's what a Japet Aguilar can do for you in defense move. As ito si Jeffrey Chan, completely black out yung kanyang nakita ron. Walang nakita rito si Jeffrey Chan. He tried, but he was unsuccessful as Villanueva finds Jeffrey Chan underneath. Another candidate for assist of the game delivered by KFC. Coming up the three minute mark of this first half. And the lead is still four for FPU. Chapin puts it on the floor against Arwin. Arwin bottles him up. And a seven second shot clock to work with. Maybe you pull up some defense and if you that's why they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> JC, now, Babantaya natin yan, two out of ten. And LA, scoreless, 
still in this ball game as the rebounding battle still belonging to Ateneo, making 13 to the 8th of FBU. And let's go to Leo Cruz for an update. Leo. Hang in there, guys. Play some defense. Coach on the back also put emphasis on boxing out in the last huddle. Don't let the other guy get the rebound and score. He also wants more teamwork. If someone can get to the basket, help him. Help him out. Rebound, 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 and stick to the game plan. Stay disciplined. Boom. Thank you very much, Leah. Well, at least they got the rebounding department down, but the problem is they have not been able to really penetrate that uh -huh. defense on a regular basis. Yes, the FU, sabi nga natin, solid and airtight interior defense. The circuit, their secret in being the number one team from the first round up to this point. Remember, they swept the first round going 7-0, and zero, lost the first game of the second round, and then coming off a four consecutive winning streak na naman itong FU Tama. Actually, these two teams own the longest winning streak mm -hmm. in season 68. Think no? Think pito, oh. Ateneo getting another rebound. Escalona against Villanueva, putting a little pressure. And LA says back off a bit. <laughs> 12 on the shot clock from Ateneo. LA still looking at his options. At six. And LA with a left-handed shot that dips he through for LA Colonio. And finally finding a hole in that inside defense of FPU. As we see there, Senator Maro has a plot in that penetration by the Wiley point guard, LA Colonio. Can you not? It's a big of beauty. Oh, yes. And the first two points of LA as Jonas with another turnover for FPU. Colonna doing a good job staying with uh, Jonas Villanueva. Let's look at this Revagon Ooh. Ion power move. Powered by new Revagon Ion energy drink from Tishong Ion. What a shot. The circus shot of LA Tenorio and a left-handed finish. Also, FBU with two turnovers here in this quarter. Yes, back to back. And going back to the report of Leah a while ago, where she specifically mentioned that Coach Norman Black telling his boys to stay close. Stay close to the FBU Tamara House because he remembers that in their first outing, they got blown away by 24 points midway through the third period at ayo na mangyari yan ni Coach Norman Black. Oh, nice pass to Mama! Oh, 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 oh. Instant offense coming from Mama And the FU once again keeping their head above water up by 4, 28 to 24. But you gotta give credit and have that basket as they say to the find of RJ Risada. Escalona, looping shot. Half going to Lapeer, Lapeer going to the other side. Big guy, smashing the board. Fiu Tamaraus once again, not doing a good job in blocking off yes. the respective men as Ateneo continues to threaten here in the closing seconds of the first half. Ateneo is sticking close and it's the rebounding that's keeping them alive. Most right. definitely. Move. A nice drive, nice attack, a foul ball of LA Tenorio's RB Mangas attempted a putback. Yes. Every time your man helps on defense, you have to be sure you make yourself available for that trap pass. Or look at that. that. Look at that. One zip. Look. Yes. Bullet like pass, no? And a strong finish by RB Mangas, uh, our Milo fast break. Drink Milo every day. One of the better defensive players, the coach Bert Carr is talking about Mangas here. 15.4 seconds remaining here in the first half. A much better first half for Ateneo compared to that first meeting here at the Araneta Coliseum. Definitely, as they have done a good job controlling the rebounding battle. That is why FEO has not been able to run and execute its uh, big leading transition offense. Especially yes, the offensive yes, department. That's offensive correct. rebounds 13 to 4. Oh, oh. Oh. I think about the ball FEO. Although Ateneo not really. Uh, exploiting that advantage too much, at least they are in the ball game because FPU, considering the first quarter, they could have had built a big, big lead for that day. Really showing that they want this ball game this time. 13 more chances. The basket. Too many possessions here, too many seconds. And third chance possession awarded here by the FPU Tamaras. And I'm sure Coach Greg Torres will be looking at that come level time. Speaking of Flores, he will be assigned. To LA Tenorio is trying to stay low as LA crosses over. LA draws the foul from a little forest on that quick blinding oh, crossover oh, move. But that's a very smart foul given up there by Flores, waiting for LA Tenorio to make his move before giving up a foul, thereby wasting a lot of seconds before this half is over. Both teams are not yet over the limit. 
5.6 seconds remaining. First half of excellent defense has been the these two teams have played so far. As Strategic. Dynamite, so, oh, Strategic uh, substitution. Yeah. Very smart kind of defense. At talaga naman, they use their feet and not their hands to play defense. Ascalona cutting. Arwin was all over <laughs> Maki and Maki kind of panicked with that shot. So Ateneo unable to put up a decent shot to tie the bet and the rest of the game will be here Saturday as the athletes will take a back seat. It's a cheer dance uh -huh. the pep squad. Sila naman ang nasa. Sino ba defending champion na? Uh, USD. Nako po. A second place last year. UP. Nako po. But it's in the back. Back to back winners na rin USD, right? Maraming, oh, maraming, uh, yun dalawa talaga. Mahinit ang laban. Hindi ka natapos lang. Tama, oh. going for beat na pala yung, uh, uh, USD. Last week in the NCAA naman, uh, kung saan nanalo yung perpetual. That's right, that's their second year, so congratulations to the NCAA also. Dahil yung pangalawang tao na yan. Sa UAP naman sa atin is I think we're going on our fifth year. <laughs> that will be something to look forward to and matutuuri uh, na naman kita ron. Huwag nga, hindi na lang. Okay. <laughs> iba na lang panoorin mo ron. <laughs> Dahil ako, iba rin pa panoorin. <laughs> Ikaw ang gusto kong panoorin. <laughs> That will be live on Studio 23. That is going to be crazy. It's one, I, I said it the last time. It's one of the best hosting jobs that I could ever Oh, yes. Get. Most definitely. Yes. Going back into this game. Boom. Third quarter. Starting with a very strong lineup. But once again, the battle cry of FEU is to try and limit. Or even shut down it was LA Tenorio. Putting a big guy to really uh, shadow, shadow him from the back or to the front door. JC. And Paolo was there, and Arwin Santos was there to beat him. I think Arwin deflected that shot. Out of 10, JC and Pat. Equal out of 13. Martin Kisip will rarely miss through that area. 52.3% from the two point area is Martin Kisip. Japan Aguilar has to really do a good job to block the vision of uh, Martin Kisip as he has that 8 foot jumper in his arsenal. Oh, yes. LA throwing up the three, still no go, Escalona in trouble, sets up Aguilar! Oh, oh they count it! They, they call Nick Suerte! Oh. Coming in is Japet Aguilar, be at the right place at the right time, but more than that, Pak Escalona yes. really has matured yes. so much here in the UAAP. What confidence, what oh, more smart what he has shown. What a pass, I don't know how he found Japet Aguilar, but he did. And one of the candidates for assist of the game delivered by KFC and the Blue Eagle Faithfuls cheering that one because Aguilar can cut the lead down to a solitary point if he makes the free throw, which I think I jinxed. Arwins throws it up. Mackie trying to break up the play. Shan, oh, Pinababa and Kramer with an authoritative, with an authoritative rebound. But Escalona doing a wonderful job. Stay. Bothering that shot. Maski talagang napakalaki ni Chan sa kanya. LA still looking for his offense, but he has distributed the ball. Mackey looks for the shot, and he comes up short. Still bleeding from the perimeter are the Ateneo yes. Filipinos. But Escalona in the last three plays, he has always been there at the thick of the battle. But Tenorio really has to get this game going here for the Blue Eagles. Adolfo looking to post up LA, but he settles for the pull-up. LA was there to bottle, borrow him, bother him rather. Uh -huh. Another turnover yes. for FEU. Returning the favor. I think that was close because LA did not give up on the defensive oh. play. And I pass to he got Adolfo. beat, then recovered. Denied Adolfo easy access to the basket, forced Tamaraos to a three-second violation. Come on. Lesson there, never give up on the play, even if you're beat already. That's correct. LA going to Doug. Doug putting it on the floor, bad idea. Chan to Rizada. Rizada is stripped. Once again, Ate Escalona do the rescue for Coach Tartan but Doug Kramer in their possession, not doing a good job putting the ball on the floor, oh. and that is not his threat. Bad right. news, chasing it down. Yes. Going to the bench, and he goes straight down to the floor. Let's go to Leah Cruz right now. Leah. Contrary to what I expected, Boone and Ronnie, there was this calm seriousness in the dugout during halftime. Coach Ramon Black commended his boys for taking care of the ball and the folks for keeping their turnovers down to only five. Their problem, though, is in their offense. Their turnovers are down because they haven't been running. Now is the time for them to score. But he reminded them to be patient and not to force any shots, as well as to communicate better with him and with each other. Boom. Thank you very much. Leah Cruz reporting for the Blue Eagles. Calmado, calmado. I think that comes with confidence, Leah. 
The gun is shown by Coach Norman Black. It's Baracoso going all the way. This is it. Don Kramer recovering Escalona from the elbow. That's short. And it's still with Ateneo and Escalona. Saying, uh-huh. Uh-huh. But still a few Tamaros giving here second chance opportunity. Third na nga. Para dito sa Ateneo Blue Eagles. LA zigzagging in traffic. Goes to Maki. Maki is trapped and is fouled. By RJ Rizada, <laughs> swear to pass. Got Maki lucky Escalona. in that play was Mati Escalona. As four guys ganging up on him. But Escalona, true to his four, very confident in going to the basket. Really, Mati Escalona, the man of the hour here for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. 7.30 to play, and FU still with the lead. Possession. The Teneo, and if you give them so much oh, oh. possession, it's a bound to uh, percentage basket. Well, you, you add, no? They're bound to the know. basket. They're bound to hit that shot. But on damage, they're really like missed shots from the perimeter, coming from the blue shirt. Well, so, give credit also to the aggressive defense of uh, FBO. Okay. Not giving up on the play. Escalona, there's a couple of players flying. Baracoso from 15 is short. He was done a tremendous job in defending that pick and ball, which is so potent as a weapon for the Ateneo team. And, uh, that's Jeff Chan against Baracoso with a block. Chan thought about it, sends it out, doesn't play the ego game. Rosada throws it up. And don't forget it, position on L.A. Tenorio and was stripped and fouled yes. by Jacob Aguilar. And L.A. Tenorio has to realize Every time FU takes that shot, he should make it a point to box out his man because Adolfo will simply just take advantage of that day in, day out. A polo shot clock by Baragoso likes a whole lot cooler with polo. Isang factor din dito para sa FU, kung is itong si Eder sa duwa. He's not seeing action this afternoon. One guy who figured prominently in the last two victories. The last three victories of the FBO Tampa. Big firepower off the bench. Oh, saka ang laki. Plays the two guard. Can play the three position. That's really proven to be an impact player for Coach Bert Flores. Adolfo missing both. Arwin not giving up as usual. But Acosta staying with him and it's a jump and possession. Arrow points to the Blue Eagles. Even if that possession arrow points to the Blue Eagles, you have to appreciate the hustle of Arvin Santos in going for that ball. Adolfo up in the thrill of El Tenorio. <laughs> Talagang ano eh, no? ilong sa ilong. Inasawa. Oo. Oh. But Agoso not giving up the pass, too dangerous. They reverse it. Tenorio getting it finally. Given space by Adolfo. Takes advantage of it. In traffic! Gets it up and in! That's a smart play coming from El Tenorio. Gets the ball. 35 feet away from the basket, and what does he do? Use his quickness and his dribbling ability to get past the bigger Adolfo. Elude the three helpers and take that floater. Look at this Ateneo crowd jumping in their seats as LA and our PX, PS Bank fast move candidate right there. One out of seven. Ronnie, that's his first field goal of the game. Attendance here at the big goal. And Ateneo will be denied of getting that first chance at the lead here. It's still 30 all. And I would just like to point out that Arvin Santos. We have already played 24 minutes. Arvin Santos has already logged 23. LA Tenorio 19. Why do we point that out? Yes. These two coaches want this victory so, so bad. bad. They really want to leave their own party players. And the resiliency here is going to be able to get our own LA Tenorio and Arvin Santos. A jump and challenge the Mark Eason shot this time. And Mark Eason missing. LA Tenorio in traffic, setting up Paragoso, who is fouled. And LA Tenorio needed that basket to gain this confidence, and now he wants to go to the basket, draw the defense, issue to his teammates, and Paragoso doing a good job, making himself available for LA Tenorio. This game, this win, very important, and everybody understanding the importance of the game, saying a little prayer. As Ateneo has the chance to snatch the lead via the kid Baracoso free throws. And they miss, and he misses. Right? Baracoso averaging three points only in the first round, but in, against NU had 11, and against USD he had six, and the six coming crucial. 
He was the only one who was trying to really kick him and Doug Craig in yes. yes. that game against USC. They could have fallen back-to-back -back absence. Talking about the team of Coach Norman Black falling to the Growling Tigers. They were able to get a for the second consecutive time of the NU Bulldogs. But as you mentioned correctly, Boom Kramer and Paracoso coming to the rescue of the Blue Eagles. So we heard that uh, JC and Cal is coming back in the ball game. The Pang Island now is shaken up a bit as Paracoso lines it up and misses from the three-point area. And Arwin Santos wanted to pass it to my partner Ronnie Maxano, <laughs> but he is long retired already <laughs> from the game but i'm sure he can still shoot the basketball let's go to yvette gavieras for the fbu tower house right now all right amidst the good screen against the ateneo blue eagles the camera needs to focus more on their proper spacing inside the court also coach bird flores demands a little more movement in the offensive space of his body lastly the third quarter the camera must do more of boxing out and getting the rebound thank you very much obviously yvette as a uh, reporting Robert Flores and they need to control the boards and more movement on offense but speaking of offense Ateneo is winding its stroke and now has the lead 32-30 finally Maki Escalona answering the call of coach Norman Black but FBU not doing a good job in their offensive sense and they're giving so many opportunities for the Blue Eagles that time around once again Ateneo growing the defensive call from Jonas Mulaneva FBU should better execute this half court set because Ateneo is fast gaining confidence in this ball game what a crowd from the blue side of things Maki Escalona Nine perimeter points by Ateneo to the 12 of FEU at this juncture. It's good enough for a two-point lead halfway through the third quarter. Tenorio against Flores. Flores trying to be as pesky as he can. LA finding Doug. Doug finding head hard underneath. Jump it. Panic. Oh, 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 oh. He panicked and he traveled. Oh, it's that moment of hesitation. Causing Jaffa to get out to be called for steps. But once again, the rebounding height of the yes. Ateneo Blue Eagles coming into play. Enabling them to overtake their few Tamarows at this stage. And let's see if the championship experience of the Tamarows will hold forth here in this second half. Arwin has been quiet in the oh, third quarter, Ronnie. And I think long minutes. Sina Parejo, the L.A. Tinorio. Pero mukhang tuwi basic lang yan si Arwin Santos. I remember having conversations with Mark Molina. He said, this guy really knows how to pace himself. Nice block, a nice deflection by Aguilar. Baracoso finds the ball. Well, hindi natin nakita sa screen. Ang magandang uh, binigay na pick ni L.A. Tenorio enabling yes. Baracoso to go unmolested for that day. And look at this crowd here right now, Boo. The big dome is rocking. Oh, yes. A predominantly blue crowd here at the Araneta Coliseum is very much excited and exuberant with this four-point lead, 34-30, 4.02 remaining, and we're checking out the Milo Fast Break, brought to you by Milo, drink Milo every day. This is what we were mentioning during that the is, half That is the first two points off the fast break, by the way, by Ateneo. Yes, and but more than that, the confidence level nila has really increased, and if you struggle in this half-court sets, that's why Ateneo oh. up by four. But I'm also taking it away from Alelu Flores. They find Aguilar. Santos with him. Nice fake and the foul. <laughs> Great hook by Tenorio. Great catch. What a finish. Well, the son of Peter Aguilar. Chapet Aguilar. Ateneo is feeling it right now. And Coach Bert Flores has to do something to stop the bleeding. They're very, very confident. And they're running too. Yeah. Buddy, this is a fast break play. And a Revicon Ion power move. Powered by Revicon Ion. With the show Ion and... Javit Aguilar having the composer to fake off Arwin Santos. Yes, that's what you get from a lot of uh, playing a lot of games here. And uh, given the exposure by coach Norman Black, has really responded so well after the sidelining of Clifford Arrow to ACL. Suddenly he is the premier oh. black man. Another offensive rebound, but they don't count it because I think Doug Kramer slipped into the lane earlier than he should have. Another opportunity there given by the FU Tamaros, pero natawagan dito ang Ateneo Blue Eagles. 3 minutes and 4 to be in the third boom. Ateneo up by 6. What a big turnaround here in this half. Look at the Ateneo crowd. They're all Every standing. Oh, oh. standing. I mean, nobody's sitting down here with McDonald. Why not? Ateneo fighting action. The UAB season 68 on Studio 23. Villanueva lines it up. Nothing there. Flores with a push. It's an 
eight to two right here by the Ateneo Blue Eagles, and FDU should better be careful of launching those outside shots because it gives the Ateneo Blue Eagles the chance to push the ball. They have done it so well here in the third period, scoring four or six transition points. Momentum shifting with the blue shirt. You know what I wanted to find out, Ronnie, prior to this game? FBU in that first round, they have that streak going on, seven game winning streak. Their average win margin is 12.4 points per game. In the second round, Bulabasha to five points. And even their offense was up 73.8 in the second round, down 65. Point six, so they have found major competition in the second round. Both Bert Flores mentioned that in the papers uh, clearly that other teams like to play them and like to make it so tough every time they face the FU Tamara. And I think it's the teams adjusting to them, but I have to say also and give credit to Coach Bert Flores, he has passed the test here in the second With round. Flying colors. A lot of close games, but they have pulled off, they pulled off very crucial victories but this one is slipping right now in terms of the lead it is the biggest lead for Ateneo at 8 38 to 30 time is on your screens right now his own defense of the Blue Eagles have really stymied the half court attack of the FU Tamarov and that ball hasn't gotten to the post area where FU has a big big advantage oh. and you need him just calling him Arvid Santos to the rescue for the FU Tamarov FU is 3 out of 8 from beyond the arc as a team one out of ten for Ateneo. Arwin Santos who shot 60% from the three-point area in their first meeting. But also, no confidence with that pull-up. Oh, 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 that was a good point Boom, that you made. But FU also going zone. It's Arwin Santos trying to go for back-to-back -back baskets here. But he's blocked. Clean block by Doug Kramer on Arwin Santos. And I think Arwin Santos now realizing and he's got to be a little more aggressive on uh -huh. offense here. Trying to take charge at this point, Boo. Arwen Santos shooting 29% from beyond the arc. A smart buddy three to stop the bleeding. The number 34 remaining in the third quarter. Probably one of their biggest deaths here in the UAP so far, Boo. Nice challenge by Doug Kramer. And he tracks down the miss. Kramer sending it over to Mackey. You know, Fernandez had a free lane to that basket. Uh -huh. Doug Kramer, look at this. Having a monopoly of the inside points are the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Eight to nothing inside points. Well, ten second chance points for Ateneo. As L.A. Tenorio sends that baby home for his first triple of the ball game and seven points for downtown L.A. Harvey trying to answer back, and he takes it back. The level of play has escalated here in this moment. That's LA Tenorio coming alive here in the second half, bringing back Ateneo, and now they're on top by five. But what an That's answer! Not so fast, LA. What, what a confident shot. And an experience of Pinapalita naman dito. Arwin read that play right away. He knew Ken Caraposo was going to drop it off. Arwin thought about it. Trying to shake off Doug Kramer to go inside to Mark Eason, but Javed Aguilar with those long tentacles of his. <laughs> Let's see, Tenorio with yes. a different angle. And a three-point shot brought to you by Smart Buddy, the number one prepaid service in the country. Just like Tenorio. That. Yeah, just like that, the best point guard in the league. Two boxing half for the Ateneo team. Where Smart Team Kim Song has shut him out on the other four by prepaid. With four three-point shots in the ballgame. What an exchange here from the long-distance territory coming from Ateneo and the FEU Tamara. LA taking it back. It is LA versus Arwin. The marquee players of both teams stepping up to the plate. Arwin with another one. This is short. And now an eagle game going on between the two players. That's correct, but Ateneo still on top, 44 to 39. Son with the fake, and he draws the foul. What action here in the big goal? This is what UAB basketball is all about. Outrunning the FU Tamaraos or the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Every time FU misses a shot from the half court, Ateneo controls the rebound. They just keep on pushing the ball. I don't know what the weather is outside, but it's raining threes here in the Big Dome as Arwin Santos connecting on four. And here is L.A. Ten LA Tenorio's answer. Smart Buddy, the number one prepaid service in the country. Tenorio, two out of five. Arwin Santos, four out of six. As the boxing match continues.
between LA and Arwen. And speaking of boxing, huh? Oh, 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 Making us proud once again, yes, of course. Manny the Pac-Man Pacquiao, but winning his bout. But he's a Filipino. Oh, oh. Really so, proud to be a Pinoy. We're just going to go to the league. In the meantime, back for action here, the big goal is Arby Manash. Again, he will answer and put the lead down to four. 45, 41. 30 seconds remaining. Villanueva back to Tenorio. Tenorio finding it tall. In tall, finding it hard underneath. And Arwin Santos collecting his 14th rebound of the ball game. 16 seconds to shoot. Rizana with a mismatch. They sing it out to Jonas. Jonas in traffic. Called for the offensive foul. Great way for Kimson to give up his body. As always. And give another possession here for the Blue Eagles. But all of one missing link here for the FU Tamaras. Jonas Villanueva. But L.A. Tenorio here in the third period. Eight out of his ten points. Six of which coming from the three-point area. And they need it. We really need the A game of L.A. Tenorio. Look at Norman Black with some strategic substitutions here. Kicking out Kramer and putting in Membrere and... Jai Reyes for the possible kickout play with 8.5 seconds remaining. They have LA, they have JC, they have Magnum and Dynamite to possibly drain a three. And if we expect Ateneo to hold on to the ball till the last second and maybe launch another three-point attempt. We expect LA Tenorio to hold that ball too. LA accelerating, gets the free lay! Ready for the defense here coming from Jonas Villanueva. Waiting for that left side to come, which never did. And Ronnie, I think they were so conscious about the shooters oh. outside that they forgot. And stay uh -oh. home, sila sa kanilang mga tao. They didn't offer any outside defense. But Tenorio taking over the game here for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. 12 points, two three point shots, 10 points in this third quarter as Ateneo breaking away with a 47 41 lead. Point lead, courtesy of this man, L.A. Tenorio, zero out of two from the first half, from the three-point area, the second half, two out of three, ten points in the third quarter, 12 all in all for downtown L.A., and he starts the fourth quarter, we got a question though, the long power, but the willpower is there, it's the <laughs> long power that you're going to wonder about down the stretch, another offensive rebound by Martin Gibson, Tenorio for three, bang, oh, baby, three points. Playing a big game for coach Norman Black. Look at the box scores. Anthony Hall scoring the FU Tamaras 21 to 13 in the third quarter. Starving roll once again. L8 Tenorio. Cold blooded three. And he commits a foul on Mark Eason. But L8 Tenorio, somebody poured cold water on this guy because he is hot. Wala pa halos pahinga. Talking about L.A. Tenorio. But Arvin Santos finally getting a breather because for sure down the stretch, Coach Burke Morris will be needing his services. But let's see if L.A. Tenorio stamina will hold for that in the Rosada putting it on the floor. The fake oh, move. What a move! Oh, what a sensational move! Yes, one guy who has to heat up for the yellow shirts. Talking about RJ Rosada. John has to share. Mark Isip has to contribute because Arvin Santos. Talagang sila lang ni mga hats yung nagdadala sa FEU. Finishing off with the right hand. And you know, I see some of the Ateneo supporters nodding with that shot by RJ Rosada. Talagang magaling. Ito, magaling din yung ganaw. Woo! L.A. Tenorio doing it all, showing why he's huh. the best point guard and he, in the UAAP. And he taps it to J.C. Intal. Intal against Chan. Intal goes up and is fouled. That was all L.A. Tenorio. The tap from behind and then the save from the half court. To J.C. Intal and L.A. Tenorio is having an out-of-body experience right now. Had two so-so games in their last two outings. But here, in an all-important game yeah. versus the FU Tamaraus, trying to go to that second spot tied with Dewey, L.A. Tenorio answering the call of the Ateneo community. Well, he said, R.J. Risada can finish with the right, I can finish with the left. And he saw it all on our Smart Money Instant Replay. Smart Money, the number one prepaid service in the country. If you're watching us on Studio 23 and on TFC, I'm sure you're having a grand time watching the UAP Season 68. Luke Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Maxano, Ivan Gavieres, and Leah Cruz at courtside with us for ABS-CBN Sports and the final 8 minutes and 42 seconds of the game between Ateneo and FBU. Great energy provided by L.A. Tenorio, but let's see 
if the championship boys but yes. the Obama loss would be enough to make them mount a comeback they are staring at the 10 point deficit at this stretch probably the biggest lead that they have stared here in the 68th season of the UAAP so far it's just wrestling <laughs> pause just for a second a second okay now we're ready again we, we need to recollect you know in a game like this you need those two three seconds are precious absolutely <laughs> from water at sea level and oh, yeah. getting a gasp of air. Risada again and the aggressive play of the lefty will net the two free throws as JC Atal commits his second personal foul. That's a very aggressive and a very smart move coming from RJ Risada. In the third period they bank on the three-point shot to be able to mount a comeback as a let, let's wait for boom here. Jack and Jill fantastic moment Jack and Jill, fantastic moment. Life is fun. We were correct. We mentioned it earlier that it was Chris Caradillo. Of course you're correct. Watching the game here, supporting the album after all. That's an end. As we see RJ Rizada hitting the front end of this two, two charities. FEU must. We must have a run here this page group. Because Ateneo is looking so confident and with LA Tenorio on the bench. And with this unit of Norman Black able to ride here, the launching attack of uh, the Yellow Shirts. May hira pa ni silang makabalik. Pag nakapahinga magbuti si Oh, what a pass. And Gibson, what a block by Mark Isip. What a denial. Isip all over the Mark and Gibson shot. And Isip puts it on the floor. And Gibson brings it back to him. But this time, a foul is called. Ito yung binabanggit natin in the third period. Masyado maraming tira sa labas itong yellow shirt. Go ahead. Look at that block of Polo. Shot block like a whole lot cooler with Polo. Doug Kramer coming in. Also Arwin Santos coming in. Adik Koba prepaid profile. Now you're in. But in the last two possessions for the FU Tamarov, Suisada penetrating going to the line. Mark Isip once again yes. taking it strong to the basket. And now Coach Berflor is realizing that they have to make their charge right now. Sending in Arwin Santos and also on the sideline is it also Jeff Chan. But they're missing their free throws here. Too. Yes. But at least you see a little more aggressiveness. Going to the basket and not settling for those 20 or 25 foot jumpers. Now Ateneo is already with four team fouls to the one of FEU with the eight minute mark of this fourth quarter. So yet in Babante and Nate But FEU is not used to this, trying to chase the big lead. Na from day one, sila ang inahabol ng lahat ng halos. Oh, chop it! Lina. Oh, what a finish! Alam mo, there is one way to describe that. Linagay. Oh, hindi layup eh, no? Linagay lay down. And the thing is, that's a tough move to make because you have Mark Isip in front of you. He just blocked Martin Gibson. Look at this. Look at the extension. And the elevation. And the finish. The finesse finish. And a power move still. You have an ion energy drink with the strong ion and things are just working. Yes, everything going right for that. Right right Great work here by Coach Norman Black to get Japheth Aguilar battle ready here in this season. Great improvement. What maturity for this young man. And Japheth almost taking it away from Rizada. He dives for the ball. <laughs> and the assistant coaches. 6'9 guy diving for the loose ball speaks well of the character that the blue shirts have. It's exciting to see that, but it's also scary. <laughs> you know, a lot of injuries have been, uh, happened because of, you know, dives. And, but of course, you don't wish that. 55-45. Rizada again Once attack. Again. Deep game penetration. Ateneo has to close down, clamp down, and tighten up its interior defense because FU just dancing its way inside in the last four possessions. Let's check out our Smart Buddy Instant Replay as he puts it on the floor. The sidestep, all caught in our Smart Buddy Instant please Replay. Smart Buddy, the number one prepaid service in the country. They haven't taken an outside shot in the last five possessions. Coach Bert Flores instructing his boys to take it strong to the basket, go to the free throw line, and stop the clock. Ball will remain with FEU, Coach Bert Flores staring at an eight-point lead with 738 remaining. He's, you mentioned he's not only you know, not used to training at this juncture of the game, but I, you know, we just found out that no team has scored more than 70 points against FEU, although Malayu Patayan uh -huh. 70, but another thing that we're going to look at, they have been able to always 
great defense, especially down the stretch. But Anthony has done a good job with their defensive area. Alam mo, 70 points ang average na higit ng FU. Ano na, uh, at this stage, 47 pa lang ang naitatala ng camera. Oh, it talo oh. strip, but was fouled by Jeffrey Chan. That foul will be oh, Jeffrey eight, Chan's fourth personal eight, foul. Eight, Another eight, crucial eight, factor eight, here eight, will be eight, how eight, Arwin Santos will be able to respond at this stage. Kung kailangan kailangan dito yung contribution ni Arwin Santos. Mark Isip has moved out. Here's a guy who easily gets tired. We found out, you know, talks with the team officials of FDU that Coach Britton Flores likes to face Mark Isip. Arwin Santos has a better, does a better job in terms of facing himself. You see, Mark Isip is a gear lang daw, alam yan eh. Puro go, go, go. Which also is a credit to him. Uh -huh. Sometimes you have to learn. How to face yourself and make yourself available dahil nalang lalo na sa UAP, rara-rara lagi ang ating naro. Oh, Barcelliano losing the ball. That's a good decision there for Barcelliano. Cold off the bench, Taking opting it. to put the ball down on the floor. Pero si Kramer very ready dahil mas quicker siya kaysa kay Barcelliano. And they, he really played defense with his feet in that sequence. Yes. And you cannot avoid any turnovers at this stage dahil ating ngayon has really controlled the momentum from the time Eli Tenorio took over in the third period. And he's still sitting on the bench for Norman Black having the luxury to sit and rest him a bit. Membrere, top of the circle three is short and up to the right. And how long will coach Norman Black? Wait for LA to not too long. He sent it. No, not too long, Ronnie. He's walking oh, to yes. the table officials. Okay. 6.25 to play. 10 second shot clock for FBU. Santos for three. Yeah! That was a great play a run play. by the FBU. They tried to make Jonas Villanueva a decoy for the first screen. And then another double screen for Arvin Santos, the best three point shooter for the FBU cameras. And suddenly. So oh, for the Blue Eagles. great anticipation by Marlon Adolfo. <laughs> but he tried to get fancy, but he recovers just in time. Villanueva attempts a three, up to the left. Chan, easy shot, he misses. And Aguilar taps it in down. Nobody wanted to take the ball. And Arwin Santos does what he does best. It's a four-point three. Uh, Ateneo still on top by three. Oh, L.A. Tenorio now back for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. 43, FBU is in the midst of a 9-2 run. And that was when L.A. sat down also. And now he's back. They send it back to L.A. Thought about the three. Six seconds to shoot. L.A. against Jeffrey Chan. L.A. sets up Paramosa for three. Nothing there. And the ball going to FBU. Three on two. Arwin over. Oh, oh, oh. But Chapin Aguilar. What a big, big stop. Coming from Chapin Aguilar. Wow. was almost a sure basket. It's a three-on-one break, but Aguilar not giving up on the play. What a stop! What a that rejection there! That's got to be the best Polo shot block of the season. And you don't do that to an Arwin no, Santos. No, no, no. Polo life's a whole lot cooler with Polo, and if there's anybody who can do it, <laughs> that's Arwin Santos. It is Javier Aguilar who not only showed the, the, the leaping ability, but he ran oh. all the way to the other side. Arwin Santos will for sure keep that in mind, though. Barcelliano underneath, strip of possession. Santos for three. Nowhere to go. A goal over the offensive rebound. Santos side steps. Aguilar blocks him again. Santos will try. And is fouled by an Antonia. That was a soft finish coming from Arvin Santos. He knew it. He knew it. Drop it, Aguilar. Blocking that shot. Pwede na sana niyang sinalo at nakuha yung possession. Look at this play. He knew he saw Chapin. Oh, na dalawang isip ulit. And he didn't have that big elevation. Oh, oh, walang lift. But Ari Santos will go to the line. Polo shot block again. Life's a whole lot cooler with Polo. Now Aguilar averaging three blocks a ball game. Best in the league. And Santos may still be bothered mentally. <laughs> mentally by those blocks. He's still smarting from the two blocks that he suffered. Arvin Santos from the line. Shoots about 80%, but he misses an all important free throw here. Take the second. Boy, what a game, boom, huh? What a game. You are really treated. One exciting one. 55 53. It's down to a two point lead. Ateneo has not yet stopped the bleeding. Escalona to Kramer from 15. The shot put shot is no good. 
this time around with both defense on their field, Lamar out, holding for denying Ateneo any clear access to the basket. Speaking of Ateneo, let's send it over to Leah Cruz right now. Leah? Nobody is allowed to relax in this Eagles cap. As Coach Arnold Lapp was giving instructions earlier in the fourth quarter, boys cautioned each other against slacking off with all the recent developments, so the coaching staff reminded them to keep focused. They have worked so hard. It would be a complete waste to let the town get back into this game. Boom. Thank you very much, Leah Bruce. You know, you Focus. have so right to relax when you're up against a champion team. Most definitely. That's something I think that's for focus. everybody else. That's correct. Focus. That's the key word for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. As we expected FU to make its run. And now here in this charge here by the FU Tamaraus, so far Ateneo has no answer. Stranded at 55, they haven't been able to get those offensive rebounds that made him so successful in gaining the lead and controlling the tempo. Oh, and a steal by Villanueva all the way for the two, and we are tied at 55 with under four minutes remaining. That is only a fifth deadlock of the game. Showing the resiliency that the championship has, let's see if Ateneo has an answer to this charge by the Tamara. Before that basket, Ronnie, eight minutes scoreless on Ateneo. But Ellie Tenorio once again getting into the heart of the FU defense, giving that nice dish to Doc Raymond. 57-55, and gambling is Ken Paraposo Adolfo. Aguilar was there to bother and foul Marlon Adolfo. Yes, opting to take that shot, take it strong to the basket rather than dish off to Arvin Santos for a three-point attempt. Let's see if FEU will shoot better from the 15th parallel. All right, let's go to Yvette Gavieras for this one. Yvette? All right, good job, guys. We must continue this kind of stamina. What we need now is a lot of pressure on our defense. Relax. Well, we have to set our minds straight and stay positive. This game is not yet over. Most virtual parallels. Who? It's not over. Not by a long shot. Thank you very much, Yvette. You know, FEU. Still kicking in this game as Marlon Adolfo struggling for the line. Zero out of three from the 15th parallel. Who will have the last kick in this ball game? Oh, the goal, yeah. Who will be the more resilient team? FEU going for its 11th win. Make that 12th win in 13 outings as Ateneo trying to go for its 10th win in 13 outings. And a turnover here for Maki Escalona. Not there coming from Matthias FU now have a chance once again to, to regain the lead. Matthias Colonna, yes, a crucial turnover for the Blue Eagles. Can't afford that at this juncture. Six turnovers to the four of Ateneo here in the fourth quarter. Those will be big up the home stretch group. Usada jamming, finding Isip. Isip trying to create space for himself. <laughs> He was paid well by Coach Bert Torres because in crunch time, he will be the best post go-to guy for Coach Bert. And he just makes that bump so that then he can clear Jappet Aguilar. The fadeaway jumper, L.A. breaking the double team and commits a foul is Jonas Villanueva. And that is only the fourth team foul for FBU. That the situation for Ateneo. FBU commits a number of fouls. Tenorio trying to take charge here. Mahalos nasa twilight zone na tayo dito. Pope Flores now sending... Very animated, you know? The, 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 siguro the busiest na nakita ko si Coach Burke. He's got to work hard tonight. L.A. speeding. Forcing the shot and forcing a foul from Arwin Santos. Pareho siya na kumakilaw. Oh, you know using that, his experience yes. there in court savvy. Talking about the best point guard in the league, L.A. Tenorio. 58-57. LA. 17 points in the ballgame. 15 of which coming in the second half, giving Ateneo a 10-point lead. But when he got seated by Coach Storm Black, that was the time that FU mounted its comeback. LA Tenorio buying the ball game at this stage. Two minutes and 39 seconds left here in this ballgame. Jam back to Renata Coliseum. And everybody watching on Studio 23, pleasure to have you with us on a Sunday evening main event. Ateneo FBU and LA giving Ateneo the lead once again, 59, 58. Here for the Two twenty-nine remaining.
Quesada again, and Chavez again with a polo shot block. L.A. ahead of Villanueva. L.A. will miss the layup. Jonas Villanueva just lurking behind. Isip is denied. And is fouled by Maki Escalon, and L.A. is disgusted with himself. Guru, more than that, he couldn't believe that he missed an unmolested layup as Jonas Villanueva did a wise move, staying away from giving up the foul. First, the Polo shot clock brought to you by Polo. Life's a whole lot cooler with Polo, which led to the fast break attempt, but muffed by L.A. Tenorio. Oh, I think he's at that cost about 56% from the line. And Mark is in about 58%, but he makes the front end of his two challenges. As a team, FEU shoots almost 60%, but it looks like battle na naman ng free throws to dito sa ating endgame goal. And a battle of nerves, too. Oh, yes. And Mark Isip, excellent with that trip, although he's only shooting a shade under 58% from the 15th parallel when it counts, oh, he yes, made it. Big time players come out for big games. And this afternoon, LA Tenorio playing as advertised. And Arvin Isip also, Arvin Santos also for the FU. What about Jopin Aguilar, 10 oh, points, 3 definitely. rebounds in the absence of JC Ital. Tenorio stepping back for the three. Yeah! for Ateneo, up by 2, 62 to 16. Bert Juarez is livid as he is calling a play and he wants a timeout right now. And it's worth seeing that play once again as oh, yes. takes the difficult, difficult step back move so easy. Which he got from a crossover oh. dribble. And a smart buddy three, smart buddy the number one prepaid service in the country. That is his fourth triple of the ball game and good enough for a two point lead. LA, but so far, another offensive foul, the fifth personal on Mark Isip, their lone low post threat. Right, that's going to be huge, a huge loss here for the yellow shirt. As the top pick and roll play of the FU Tamaraz, as you see on your screen there, a slight nudge, all by the referees, and an illegal pick. And possession will now swing back to the Ateneo Blue Eagles, or a top by two points. But Akoso playing in crucial stretches of the ball game. Talk about confidence by coach Norman Black. But Akoso is hemmed in. And Escalona escapes. But there's a foul prior to the move. And that will result in the free throws as EU not doing a good job in making a stop in that particular attack by the Ateneo Blue Eagles. In the second round, the production that took it first, the Cannon power shot of the game brought to you by Cannon, delighting you always. The production of FEU has gone down from 73.8 to 65.5. And right now, FEU with only 60 points, but with 135 remaining in the game. And Escolona stretching the lead to three. 63-60. A possession lead here. Got the name the Eagles. The kick out to Chan. No. Arby Magas and Tenorio battling for the loose ball and possession will remain with FBU. A minute and 24 left here in this ball game. Let's see if that ball will land in the hand of Arvin Santos in this attack by the FBU Tamara. Arvin Santos with 19 points to go with his 15 rebounds. Well, he gets the ball right now. Doug Kramer sticking to him. Santos following the shot, but Javin Aguilar coming down with an emphatic recovery. Not the kind of shot that Coach Bert Torres wants in that play. But L.A. Tenorio will be milking the clock with a minute and 10 seconds left. 12 seconds on the shot clock for the Ateneo team. Jeffrey Chan sticking to him like Leach, but Tenorio making his move. Yo! He gets it up and in. Wow. What can this guy not do today? <laughs> he has shown the full arsenal in this ball game. Six guys playing defense on L.A. Tenorio. The sixth guy was Jeffrey Chan. But a monster ball game for L.A. Tenorio this afternoon. Is that shot even legal? I don't think so. <laughs> L.A. Tenorio. I'm sure him. he called it. Bro. He called it. 65-60. <laughs> we'll be back. That's on that play. Yeah, starring role in offense, L.A. Tenorio on the defensive end. The big man. Out of the arm for coach on the flag. Jopin Aguilar. On defense, no question. Jopin That's right. The anchor of the defense. Yes. 
para sa interior area for the Ateneo team. 39.2 seconds remaining. And the flash play from Ateneo. Maragoso finishing in style. And it's a three-possession lead right now you know, Ronnie, for Blue Eagles. That's a play that they, they use against the solid UE. That's correct. And Arvin Santos will not be giving up, but Ateneo looks really good with 25 seconds left in this ball game. Kramer recovering. Aguilar to Maragoso. They do the right thing and swing the ball out as FBU is forced to commit a personal foul. And a Tenorio rejoicing as his efforts may not go down the train today. And a Tenorio, all business this afternoon. The energy factor, getting the crowd involved, inspiring his teammates to play good basketball. Just like that, Ateneo will most likely here move. And FEU, it's second loss. Although there are 18 seconds, you know, Ateneo Matias Corona will be able to ice this ball game. Well, Menorio was one out of four from the field in the first half. All of a sudden, eight out of ten in the second half. What an awakening. What an awakening for LA Tenora in the second half. Probably re responding to the call of Coach Norman Black to take charge and carry this team once again on this very small shoulders. Boom, but oh, what a yeoman's job done here by LA Tenora. For Mar Rojas and for Dick Gordon. I'm very happy, you know. All joining us this afternoon, this evening, as Escalona. This is on the second free throw. Hey, at the break of the game. Possession arrow pointing to Ateneo. Imagine the crowd that we will be having this come this Thursday. The FEU oh, oh, 60. I'm sorry. To to yeah, go ahead. It's okay, Bumas. Uh, if Ateneo escapes with this win today, they'll be facing the Dallas Alvin Archers on Thursday. Oh, nice pass by Tenorio. But the play broken up by Arun Santos with 15 seconds to go. Chan. Setting up, Fernandez for three, gets it to go with 9.5 seconds, and the lead cut down to five. That's why it's so important to make your free throws every time. Parang kailangan ma-shutdown mo na yung pagkakataon ng ibang team, ang kabilang team. Menorio takes the ball. Six seconds left in this ball. He takes the foul too, and he has the opportunity, Ronnie, to put on the finishing touches of a game that he masterfully painted himself. That's correct. He totally dominated the opposition. Talking about LA Tenorio. Six guys shuffled by Coach Bert Flores to shadow him. They were successful in the first half. But in the second half, the skill level of the best point guard in the league, and probably the amateurs right now, LA Tenorio, just a cut above the rest. Misses the first free throw. LA averaging only 5.5 points, 22% from the field in the first or in the last two games against USD and NU, but against the best in uh -huh. the league. Stepping up, talking big time. about FEU, knowing the importance of the game, going into the LaSalle matchup on Thursday, he really showed the best today. Two seconds to play, and FEU still kicking with a three point shot. The lead is three with 0.6 remaining. And Arwin takes it away, throws it up. And Ateneo inflicts only the second victory or second defeat of FBU in season 68 of the UAAP. And more than that, they have proven that FBU can be beaten. Exposed by the Red Warriors as a vulnerable team. Ateneo returning the favor in the second round. Gaining this big, big win for Coach Norman Black. Climbing up to second spot, tied with the U Red Warriors with a 10 and 3 mark. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out our Gatorade <laughs> best all. player of the game, L.A. Tenorio, with monster numbers. And we'll be back to wrap this baby up here at the Big Dome. It is Ateneo over FBU.